Hi there, this is Fixed It. If you're a diabetic like myself, you've most likely come to rely on high energy drinks in situations where you're doing exercise or strenuous work. I usually take about 200 mils of Lucozaid, which equates to about 17 grams of carbohydrate before the exercise or job starts, and then top up as I go along. This strategy has worked really successfully for me for about three decades. However, with the introduction of the new flavours, I've discovered that I'm having to drink more and more Lucasade to prevent a low blood sugar. It hadn't occurred to me at all that the company were actually reducing the amount of sugar and glucose syrup in their products because everyone is called Lucasade Energy. Personally, I find it quite ironic that they've kept the name but are reducing the amount of energy in their drinks. So let's have a look at a comparison of the quantities of carbohydrate in the bottles. As we can see, Lucasade Original has 17 grams of carbohydrate per 100 mils, whereas the Mango and Mandarin has 15 grams of carbohydrate per 100 mils. It then drops to 14 grams of carbohydrate per 100 mils in the grapefruit, before bottoming out to a staggering 8 grams of carbohydrate per 100 mils for the cloudy lemonade. So that's a massive reduction in the carbohydrates between the original and the cloudy lemonade, and the price is the same. Now this may be a coup for the anti-sugar brigade, but for a diabetic like myself, this is potentially very dangerous and could have serious consequences. So if you're a diabetic, the carer for a diabetic, diabetic or no a diabetic then get them to check the back of the bottle and not assume that the Lucozade is as it was originally as I had assumed and that it is a high energy drink because some of it quite frankly isn't. I hope you liked the video please share it widely thanks for watching bye.